Ron, how's this spring going for you as in your, I don't want to say new leadership role, but um, talking to Joe Berger, you said you're doing a great job of bringing the younger guys along right here. Uh, yeah, I mean, Joe gives me credit, but I give a lot of credit to uh, Joe and Fade because, they, you know, they spend a lot of time with the young guys. And all of us spend a lot of time with the young guys and really bring camaraderie between each other so we get on the field and work together on and off the field. What does that entail? Like, how do you do it? Uh, it just comes with time. You know, every day you go in and spend time outside of football, talk about things like life and your family. We go to church together, have dinner together, and stuff like that with Coach Fick. I mean, it just brings us closer together and makes a bit of a stronger bond. Raekwon, do you guys notice anything different with Chris now that maybe this is his time with Darren going? I mean, Chris Worthy has always been a worker every year that I've been here, so I haven't really noticed anything different. But yeah, it's, all, it's definitely a bigger opportunity because Darren is gone. Uh, I'm not saying that he couldn't have been on the field when he was here, but you know, it's definitely a lot of more, a lot more opportunity now that he's gone, and I feel like he, I feel like he's taking advantage of it. Darren said that last year they didn't think there'd be a big drop off with Chris looking in. Do you, do you see that as well? Is he capable of providing the same sort of lift for you guys out there? Yeah, most definitely, man. Uh, throughout spring last year, we didn't really know who was going to be the starter. Well, my freshman year, we really don't, didn't know who was going to be the starter. But at the uh, start of the season, Darren got the nod of the hat, and he was going from there. When did you get the haircut? I'm going to get the haircut. Oh, I, got a, I got a haircut yesterday, man. Kind of uh, a new look for me going on taking right now. Josh. I thought that was yeah. just the hat you were wearing. Nah, just taking it out the, uh, taking out the Josh pair, I guess. How much are the linebackers going to have to step up and kind of be the glue between the, the secondary and the, and the line? Meaning that everybody, there's a lot of positions open, and you guys have to kind of lead that defense. Yeah, I mean, it's a, lot, it's a lot of opportunity around us, you know, and we have the most stable group because we have a lot of, Older guys, we have Joe Berger, me, Fader, uh, Chris Worley, Dante Booker. With a lot of older guys, you have more gel. And so communication between us has to permeate through the whole defense. With these, uh, I mean, as hard as you guys went during the winter, when spring football gets, you're actually doing football stuff. Yeah. Is it a relief? I mean, do you look forward yeah, to Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's finally, it's a good relief to actually get out in the field and actually do some stuff, have the hem on, have the cleats on. You know, the whole time you're doing stuff without a ball and, you just out here going through the motions, trying to simulate football drills, but it isn't the same until you actually get the pads on, strap your gloves on, and get to work. How tough is it going to be to, you know, go on spring break and come back, and the coach is going to tell you, hey, everybody, keep your weight, keep exercising, but come back hungry. But you got that spring break that everybody looks forward to. I mean, I think the spring break is a good time for everybody to relax. You know, yeah, he wants us to come back full speed, but at the same time, we've been going full speed since. August of last year, so uh, I mean I think it's a good time for everybody in on our team, even the coaches, to get get some time away from football and relax with their family. What are your plans? My plans: I plan to go home, just eat and sleep the whole time. <laughs> <laughs>